Hi everyone, I just wanted to quickly go over the formal report instructions with you and explain to you a little bit about what's going on there. Um, so every semester, 1411 and 1412, do a formal report and this is mostly just to help you get used to scientific writing and so we can give you some feedback about your writing. And the formal report for this semester will be over this kinetics of the iodine clock reaction and you will find that on the lab flow and you'll see the quiz uh, which was due today and then the actual lab report itself um, and so I just wanted to go over some of the details about this um, and so firstly um, just to start right off we you don't need to turn in anything on lab flow for this except for the quiz so what you'll actually do is come to the lab section um, and what I've done is I've put up some formal report instructions for you and so you can open these up and um, there's a few guidelines here for you in terms of what font to use, what spacing, what margins. Um, and then there's some different sections for you with about uh, what percent they're worth. So things like the heading. Um, so this just gives me the information about your name. Um, you obviously won't have lab partners. Um, course, day, all that good stuff. So just make sure you put all that information in there. Um, that's worth 4%. Um, and you'll come down and you'll have objectives. This is just basically giving me an intro um, to the lab, telling me what you're doing, how you're planning on doing it, and why. Um, give you the main reaction, so tell me what exactly the reaction is you're, you're finding the kinetics for. Uh, the materials, so whatever they use in the experiment, just make sure you list those there, including chemicals. Uh, the procedure, so as best you can, write out a step-by-step -step instructions for that another student could follow about how you did the lab report observations and so for the observations you'll pretty much have to rely on um, this video demonstration for that just do the best you can I understand that's a little bit odd to do observations but do the best you can um, and then the biggest section the results and data um, so this will be your biggest section and it should just show all your all the data that you calculated all the data that was collected in the lab all that good stuff so this is your heaviest section um, so be sure you put a lot of time into this section um, and then lastly you have calculations so here Show me at least one sample calculation for each one, uh, and then you have your conclusions. Okay, so, and then lastly, your sources of error. So if you follow these sections um, and do what they ask, you should do pretty well on this. Um, everything is pretty much explained here. If you do get stuck on any of this, you have until the 21st of this month, so about a, a week to this lab report. So you can always ask me questions in the meantime. Um, in terms of getting data for this, if you come to the experiment PDF. Here you can find um, an explanation of the lab, first of all, of course. Um, and if you come down, you'll find things like the concentration of the chemicals used, the volumes. Um, and so you'll need this for all of your concentration data um, for your actual lab report. Um, and then they give you some sample calculations and some sample data tables. And you notice, so, sorry, I'll try to stop scrolling, scrolling quite so much. Um, so you'll notice here that this is reaction times and this is all blank. Um, and I'm going to show you where to get those reaction times from. So the concentrations you can calculate based on this information in the table. So table one. The time you'll get from the actual, actually from lab flow. Time for, and then the, the concentrations you'll calculate. Um, so table B and table C there. Um, and then yeah, so table B and table C, you'll just do those calculations along with table D. Okay, so that's basically will kind of give you an idea what to put into your data section. Um, and then exactly what you need for time data, um, if you come to the actual where you would normally submit the lab, so we won't submit anything here. So if we just come to the report section. So the first thing you'll do is you will choose that yes, you're completing this online say next and it says if you're completing the report online select the provisional data option and you'll be given data so hit request provisional data and it'll ask you to confirm so just say confirm and then it will generate the time data for you um, so that you'll be able to actually complete the lab report you still have to do the calculations yourself um, but this will be the data that you would have collected had you performed the lab in person okay and then as far as terming this in I don't have the link created just yet but if you'll come back to this lab section, there'll be a place for you to submit the report. 
Okay, so again, nothing to turn in on lab flow for this one. You just need to turn in that report and that will be due on the 21st. Okay, if you have any questions about anything um, that I just went over or anything that pops up during the lab, um, please feel free to email me. Um, if it asks you for any kind of data sharing, you can just ignore that part since we're doing this online. Um, but anything other than that, please feel free to email me um, and I will do my best to help you.